What's up, y'all? Bill C here. Today we're going to talk about mixed engineering. I'm going to try to rush through this pretty quickly, so if you have any questions, hit the Facebook page. What you're looking at is a song that's broken out into individual sections. You have the kick for the kick drum, the snare drum, hi-hat. You have two tracks for guitars because it's double-tracked. It's generally better to double-track guitars than to just copy audio from one track to the other. After that, you've got however many vocals you need. Then I have a harmony effect that basically adds width to the vocal. I have a submix for all my instruments. I have a submix for all my vocals. I have reverb, which I'm going to feed from both of my submixes. I have my output and my master control. The reason you want to break it out like this is you want to be able to put different effects on each element of the song. So I've set up a loop and what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the audio from what it originally sounded like to what I want it to sound like when I'm ready to print it.
isn't me Search for things that the chill can't see So that's basically the process. If you have questions or you want to see a specific tutorial video, leave me a comment here or on the Facebook page or on BillCQC.com. That's it. I'm out. Peace.